Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on games and tournaments. It says that in a tournament of eight teams, each team played against the other teams once. So round robin league. For each win, team gets five points. For a tie, both teams get three points, and there is no point for loss. The table gives the result of the matches: W for win, L for loss, and T for tie. X for missing data. So we have some missing data over here along the rows. So we need to read in the information along the rows. So it says that, for example, in a match between T1 and T3, T1 lost to T3. So T1, T1 versus T3. So the loser is T3. Similarly, let us say if you have T2 versus T3. So T2 is the winner. So along the rows, you need to read the data. Okay. So result is given along the rows. Now what we are given is, we are given some missing information also. So basically, we have to create a complementary pair. Like for example, if it T1 versus T2, T1 T2, it's a tie for T1. So it will be a tie for both teams. So tie tie, it is matching correctly. If you look at T1 versus T3, so T1 is losing the game. So T3 has to win the game. Now T3 versus T1, if you see, it is given as X. So we need to replace this X. So uh, we will put W here. So T3 wins against T1. So like this, we have to replace all the X given in this table and then calculate the points and then answer the questions. Okay. So some of the questions could be answered without even completing that. But let us first complete the table and then answer the questions. So wherever X are placed. Now X is placed here. T1 against T5. So let's find T5 against T1. So T5 is winning against T1. That means this X will be replaced by a loss. So T1 loss to T5. Now we will go row wise. So we have X here, here and here. Now T4, T2 versus T4 is X. T2 versus T4 is a win here. So this will be a loss. Similarly T6, if you see versus T6, it's a win. So that means it will be a loss over here. Okay. Then we have uh, T8. It is X over here. And T2 versus T8 is a tie. So this will be a tie match. Next, if we see T2 versus T3. T2 versus T3, it's a win here. So this will be a loss. Then X, this part, T8 versus T3. So T3 versus T8 is a win. That means this will be a loss. Next is X is here and X is here. So we will look at the vertical column of T4. So here we have win and win. So both these will be losses. Now T5 we have 1X here and 2X is. We will look at the vertical column of T5. So in the third position we have a win. So here we will have a loss. And then here we have LL. So that will be W and W respectively. Now going on to T6. So we have first or you can think like this also. It is basically of T1. So you can look at T1 the last three matches. Right? So it is TLT. So this will be T W T. Okay. So basically you have to look for the transpose like uh, horizontal versus vertical horizontal rows versus vertical columns and you have to fill that complementary pair. So now we have uh, like if you look at T4 last three matches X over here T4 last three matches are LTT. So LTT will become W T and T. Okay now let's find what else is missing. So we had filled this till T5 T6 if we see two X's are there and T6, if we see, there are two wins. So these will be two losses. Okay, this is also done. Then we have two X's in T7, third and uh, second and third. T7, second and third is win-win. So here we will have loss and loss. Okay, and what else is remaining? Any X remaining? The last one, two X's are remaining. So versus T5, T8 versus T5, here it is L. So this will be W and here it is X, uh, here it is win. So again, it will be a loss over here. So this is how we have completed a table 
finding out how many wins, loss and ties are there for each of the teams. So we will now put a short thing W, L, E and the points. So count the wins. Uh, this team has no win. This team has one, two and three losses and four tie matches. Okay. So total seven matches, three losses and four tie matches. This team has one, two, three wins, three wins and there is uh, one, two losses and two tie matches. Okay, so uh, three wins, two losses and two tie matches or uh, yeah, so this is what we will have. Let's just see this three wins against T4. It is T4 versus T2 win. T6, it, sorry, this will be a win because here it is a loss. L versus W. So four wins, one loss, and two tie matches. Then we have this team winning one, two, three, four wins. Okay. And uh, there is three losses and there is a there is no tie match of t3 then coming to t4 we have one win one win then we have one two three losses and three tie matches also for team 5 we have one two three four wins three losses and no tie matches Team 6 has one, one win, two losses, four losses, one, two, three, two wins, sorry, two wins, four losses and one tie match. Okay. So, uh, team 7, if you count, one win. 2 win, 3 wins, 3 wins, then they have 1, 2, 3 losses and 1 tie match. So this had, uh, table has to be completed carefully and read the data carefully. So 2 wins, 3 wins, 3 wins and then we have uh, 1 loss and hence 3 tie matches. So these are the results of the teams. Now we will count their points also. Okay. So point loss will give 0 points, win will give 5 and tie will give 3. So this has 4 into 3, 12 points, 20 plus 6, 26 points. Uh, this is 20 points. Uh, one win means 5 points plus 9, 14 points. This has 20 points. Uh, 10 plus 3, 13 points. Okay. This has uh, 15 plus 3, 18 points. And the last thing will have uh, 15 and uh, uh, like 15 plus 9 that is 24 points okay so these were will be the number of points scored by these teams okay now let's answer the questions so the first question says that uh, if the top four teams are uh, reaching the semi-finals which of the following teams did not make to the semi-finals so top four teams are one two three and four so two three five and eight five three and eight are making to the semi-final team seven is not making to the semi-final so these two three five eight make to the semi-final how many matches ended in a tie right now this is an interesting one because uh, like we generally add the number of tie matches yes you should add but we will have to divide by 2. So, 9, 10, 11, 14. So, 14 we are getting. We need to divide by 2 because whenever there is a tie match. So, suppose T1, T2 was a tie match. It is added in terms of T1 also, in terms of T2 also. So, we need to divide by 2. So, there are 7 tie matches. Now, if I ask you how many win-loss matches are there, just add one of the columns. This is 8, 9, 13, 15, 15 plus 6, 21 matches. So, 21 matches are win-loss matches, 
you can add the column of uh, loss as well it will add to 21 only okay and there are seven tie matches how many teams won four or more matches during the league phase so we have t2 t3 and uh, t5 they are winning four matches during the league phase next set of questions which of the following teams top the table in terms of point table right so top table topper is team 2 which of the following statements is not correct the maximum number of tie matches by any team is 4 maximum tie matches is 4 that is true there is a team that did not win any matches so we have uh, team 1 who is not winning any matches 2 each team has lost at least one match that is also true so obviously the fourth statement should be false the fourth statement says that there are only two pairs of teams that have the same number of tie matches okay so same number of tie matches one pair is this second pair is this and we have a third pair also so there are basically three pairs of teams hence this statement is a false statement so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions